Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at the beautiful Lumina Golf Resort and I found a fairway bunker and I'm going to talk about three different types of fairway bunker shots, three different lengths of fairway bunker shots and how you would maybe need to look at adapting your style of play to execute each bunker shot as you get closer to the hole. I think as we get closer to the hole on bunker shots, certainly fairway bunker shots, it actually gets a bit harder. When you get into that horrible 30 yard shot, that's really tricky and we're going to play that one in a moment. We're going to start with 90 yards. Um, flag is just up on the hill here. What I'm going to really concentrate on is quality of strike. That is absolutely crucial on a bunker shot. Height shouldn't be an issue for a lot of players. And I think this is where I see a couple of players and kind of an average player trying to get height out of a fairway bunker shot and they may get height and they'll just kind of scoop it out. Actually, I find that a lot of players should be able to still hit green out of fairway bunker shots. The big thing for me is making sure that the, the, we actually hit the ball first. We're not going to hit too much of the sand behind. I can't afford, like if I'm honest, I can't hit this powerfully enough with a sand wedge from 90 yards to get it on the green. If I take sand behind the ball, it's just not going to happen. It's not at all. Height is not an issue. I'm going to get over the lips on these bunkers. It's not a big issue, but it's the height. It's the quality of strike that we need more than anything. As I set up this golf ball, now typically a bunker shot, I would straight away more open the face and more aim left. On a fairway bunker shot, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to aim square to the flag, as level as I can to the flag. I always find it's very important out of a fairway bunker shot, and this goes for every fairway bunker shot, is don't get yourself dug into the sand too much. Like a traditional bunker shot, you'd get yourself buried in. Well, actually, on a fairway bunker shot, we want to... We don't want to hit too much depth of sand. So digging yourself in is a bad idea. Try and stay tall on the sand. What I'm going to solely focus my attention on is the weight of my body and the way that I'm going to move my body weight through the shot. I don't want to leave anything on this side of my body as I hit the shot. So if I was to draw a line, obviously you can't do this when you're playing a normal bunk shot. I want to be moving my body weight left of that line towards the target to make sure I hit ball and then floor and, and sand after. And limited sand, I don't really need to hit that much at all. So just keep the feet just nestled into the sand, but not too deep. As I come into hit, I'm going to move my weight left of that line, striking the ball first, not worrying about height. That was, that was ripped. Um, I'm going to show you something here, actually. Let me grab that camera and show you something. So you saw where the ball was in relation to that line. And look where the strike's taken place. That's the line. The ball was on that line. And I've actually hit past that line. You can see the, the, the sand has been hit here, past. And that was my weight moving to the left that allowed that to happen. Let's go and play a shorter shot and show you how things may, might change. So I think on every bunker shot, and this is going to happen with this middle bunker shot as well, I'm going to throw a ball in here. Get it? Is that I'm not trying to get it up. I don't, I'm not trying to get height. I'm trying to get quality of strike. Let's play this next one, a shorter shot. Okay, so we've moved into this middle bunker. This is 70 yards away from the flag now. And the concept, to some degree, remains the same. That I don't want to hit behind the ball. I want to hit ball first and a little bit of sand afterwards but now we're starting to get in that position if we do hit behind it's actually not the end of the world because now i've got enough power to get it to that flag and many of you have watching as well so what i tend to do from this type of shot now is same idea as the 90 yard shot or what i would see as more of a full bunker shot and it's going to be more of a three-quarter bunker shot all I'm going to do is open the stance up, which actually allows the ball to sit slightly closer to my left foot. And what, why I've done that is if I come through the ball and move the weight still to the left, if I don't quite get it right, I'm going to hit slightly behind the ball and that is it. I'm not going to hit a foot behind the ball and then, I, then I'll probably leave it in the bunker. So I've opened my stance up. I'm going to still remain for this shot with the face square because I feel like I've got enough um, armory enough club in my in my hand to be able to get to that flag so I don't really need to open the club and take any uh, add any height because again bunker shots fairway bunker shots please don't try and get it up unless it's a really really ridiculous bank and then you've got to take your medicine and get you get out as best you can but it's just a bunker shot like this listen there is no lip on this it's uh 
you know, it's not really a punishment. The only punishment, you've got to strike it ball first. So slide the ball forward. I'm still going to encourage for me the weight to move to the left. I'll put the line in again so you can see afterwards that where that divot will take place. I'm going to move my weight to the left with not as much of a golf swing. I hit that really good. Let me show you that one, just so you can see. And what I'm going to show you is the fact that the div at that time actually took place just behind the golf ball. But because I put the ball position forward, that was okay. You see how I've just changed that? And that now is a good enough result. We're going to go to the hmm, slightly more dreaded one now, shorter bunker shot. Okay, so we've moved into this one now, 40 yard bunker shot. And this is one that this kind of 30 to 40 yard bunker shot scares a lot of players. And it, I can understand why, because it is tricky. But the way I'm going to show you now is just going to make this shot so much simpler. As you notice, I've got more of a lip to get over. But again, that's not going to be scaring me. I'm not purposely going to worry about trying to get over that lip or not. I'm going to play it very similar to the last shot from, from 70 yards. But I'm going to increase loft. And I'm going to place the ball even just a smidgen further forward. And that is, that is it. When the ball is too, far, too much in the middle in the stance, and if we move that weight too far to the left, we're going to trap this into the face of the bunker. If the ball's in the middle again, it sends this messages to our head that we've got to lift and scoop up. Well, that's going to hit way behind, and we're not going to get the quality of strike. I'll put the line in again so you can see this. But this time now, I'm going to open my stance more. Ball position is pretty much inside of my left heel. Open the face. By the way, when I open my stance, that pretty much changes the ball position. That in its own changes the ball position. I'm going to slightly add a bit of loft here because I've probably got too much club for a shot like this, but that's fine. And I'm still going to move the weight to the left, but because now I've got our ball, ball further forward, if we hit a little bit behind, it's not the end of the world. It really is not the end of the world. So I've got a ball a little bit further forward. I'm still going to move my weight to the left. Travel. Oh. Yeah, doesn't get a lot better than that. Does not get a lot better than that. You can see here, the strike. By the way, this, all these footworks for me setting up the camera. <laughs> you can see the, where the line was. And that strike now has taken place behind that line. But that's okay, because I'd, I'd have factored in for it. I allowed for it. Let's head up to the green. I'll show you those three shots, because they were three all on the green. Let me show you these three shots, by the way. That's the, that's the last one, actually. Pitch there, and then very happy with that. That's why I was saying it for it to get up. Then we've got these two. This was the 90-yard bunker shot. Take that, and that was a 70 yard bunker shot. Whenever you move your weight, the ball does come out a fraction lower, but it's guaranteeing the strike. It's guaranteeing the strike. Try that next time you get in a fairway bunker. Practice it first if you can. I should try and hold these. Practice it if you can, but there's a way there just to be able to move the weight and move the ball position to guarantee the connection. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the video. If you have, click that thumbs up button. Comment below, let us know what you think about the uh, tuitional videos I've done here from uh, Lumina. Beautiful day, beautiful resort. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. And I'll see you soon. Shall I try and knock that? I'm just trying to knock this one in. I've already got my wedge. Up and down out of a 40 yard bunker I'll be happy with. Ouch. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.